Hey guys, in today's video, I will be reviewing the top 8 best CPU air cooler in 2025. I made this list based on my personal experience, and I try to rank them based on their quality, durability, customer reviews, and more. If you want to know about the best pricing and more information, you can check the description links below. Number 8 in my list is Phantom Spirit 120 Southeast ARGB CPU Air Cooler. We recently tested the Thermalrite Phantom Spirit 120 Southeast ARGB on several AMD builds, and it consistently impressed us with its cooling capability. The seven copper heat pipes efficiently draw heat away from the CPU, while the dual 120 mm fans keep airflow moving without creating excessive noise. Even when cooling a Ryzen 9 processor under full load, temperatures remained comfortably under 70 degrees Celsius. Installation was straightforward on both AM4 and AM5 platforms. The included mounting hardware is well made, and the copper base came perfectly flat and polished, ensuring good contact with the CPU. One thing to note is the cooler's height at 154 mm. We recommend checking your case clearance before purchasing. The ARGB lighting adds a nice touch to any build without being overwhelming. With 17 lighting modes available and motherboard synchronization support, you can easily match it to your existing setup. We found the atomizing fan blades effectively diffuse the light for a softer, more appealing glow than many competing options. RAM clearance is something to consider with this cooler. The front fan might need adjustment with taller memory modules, which could slightly impact cooling performance. However, even with modified positioning, the cooling capability remains strong for most AMD processors, including the 5000 and 7000 series. For the price, this cooler delivers exceptional value. We've tested it against coolers costing twice as much and found the performance difference minimal for most everyday and gaming scenarios. The build quality exceeds expectations at this price point, with solid construction and reliable fans rated for 20,000 hours of operation. Number 7 in my list is Cooler Master Hyper 212 Halo Black CPU Air Cooler. We recently installed the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Halo Black on our test bench with an AMD Ryzen 7 processor. The sleek black design immediately caught our attention with its minimalist aesthetic that looks great in any build. Upon powering up, the dual-loop ARGB lighting created a stunning visual effect that illuminates the entire case. During testing, we noticed a significant temperature improvement compared to the stock AMD cooler. Our Ryzen CPU stayed in the comfortable 70 degrees Celsius range even during intensive workloads, whereas it previously reached concerning 90 degrees Celsius temperatures. The MF120 Halo 2 fan operates quietly at normal loads, only becoming noticeable at higher RPMs when the system is truly pushed. Installation was straightforward with the redesigned mounting brackets specifically made for AMD AM5 slash AM4 platforms. The cooler's 154 mm height fits most mid-tower cases, though you'll want to check clearance if you have a compact build. Number 6 in my list is Noctua NHP1 Passive CPU Air Cooler. You might see nothing more than a hulking CPU cooler at a glance, but the Noctua NHP1 is far more exciting than that. As a passive design, it requires no fan to keep your CPU at a stable temperature. Yes, even while gaming. And if you hadn't already guessed, that's a pretty big deal for silent PC builds. The NHP1 is capable of cooling even high-end CPUs using only natural convection. That's sort of what makes it a big deal in the cooling world. It does this through a design vastly disparate from your standard chip chiller. Essentially, this passive cooler can keep a decent gaming processor powered up. We've tested the NHP1 on our core i7-10700K open test bench, which has no fans and therefore completely unoptimized airflow. And while it may throttle on seriously CPU-intensive benchmarks, it flew on our standard gaming tests. Compare the NHP1 to the NHD 15 g 2 and you'll notice a few differences between the two. The most immediate is the density and thickness of the fins that make up most of the cooler's large size. These fins act as the fundamental heat dissipation method for an air cooler, 
and strangely the NHP1 comes with fewer than the tightly packed NHD15. Number 5 in my list is Be Quiet Light Loop CPU Air Cooler. It crushed our testing suite, which hammers a cooler with various workloads in gaming and beyond, but it looks great, has a focus on longevity, and isn't overly expensive. On the longevity front, this AIO comes with a special feature. It's refillable. That's not unheard of in the liquid chiller game, but it's not commonplace either. It means you can top up the juice in the radiator and loops using the included bottle, helping to push out any air that may have seeped into the system through evaporation over the time it's been in use. Not to fret, you don't have to refill it every week or anything. Every couple of years will see you right as rain. The radiator on this liquid cooler is only the standard thickness, around 27 millimeters, but it still manages to deal with heat extremely well. Even with the Core i7-14700K 7 we use for our testing, which is a real hungry chip, power-wise, it came out on top in all thermal tests. The downside to its excellent thermal performance is the fans are pretty loud at full whack. The pump, on the other hand, is only audible at full speed if you turn all the fans off and try to listen out for it, which isn't really a situation you should find yourself in all that often. Controlling the fans is easy through the included fan and lighting hub. Number 4 in my list is Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 360A RGB CPU Air Cooler. The best liquid cooler has to be the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3. It's simple straightforward and does a stupendous job of keeping a CPU nice and chilly. What's more, it's affordable, which makes all the difference to your average PC build. Promise me you'll spend that money saved on a bigger GPU, yeah? The Freezer IA retains the affordable price tag of its popular predecessor, the Freezer 2, and keeps the tiny fan on the tip of the pump to keep your VRM cool. That might seem silly or a gimmick, but effective VR and cooling is an underrated feature that we don't see too much of these days. The Freezer IE works across both Intel and AMD CPUs, though it only supports newer Intel sockets, effectively 12th gen chips or later. It uses a proprietary mounting system that requires you to remove the original ILM and fit the new bracket included with the cooler on. It sounds complicated, but it isn't. That said, it can be a bit fiddly. Once it's loaded onto your chip, it provides excellent cooling capability. The 280mm version tops the competition and without generating an absurd amount of noise. That's thanks to the 140mm fans included here, two of Arctic's P14 140mm. That's a big plus point for a more affordable liquid cooler, some of which have loud pump wine to make up for a performance deficit. Number 3 in my list is Thermalright Assassin X120R Southeast CPU Air Cooler. Thermalright Assassin X120R Southeast CPU Air Cooler is designed for efficient cooling, optimal performance, and quiet operation. Featuring a high-quality aluminum heatsink with four heat pipes, it ensures rapid heat dissipation, keeping CPU temperature stable even under heavy workloads. The nickel-plated copper base enhances thermal conductivity, allowing for effective heat transfer from the processor. Equipped with a 120mm PWM fan, it delivers strong airflow while maintaining low noise levels, ensuring a balance between cooling efficiency and silent operation. The fan speed adjusts dynamically based on system load, providing optimal cooling when needed and reducing noise during idle periods. Advanced bearing technology enhances durability, ensuring long-lasting performance without wear and tear. The compact design allows for broad compatibility with a wide range of CPU sockets and motherboards, making it a versatile choice for various builds. Its low-profile structure ensures compatibility with most RAM configurations, preventing clearance issues in compact PC cases. Installation is straightforward with a secure mounting system that provides a stable fit. Ideal for gaming, content creation, and high-performance computing, this air cooler offers a reliable cooling solution with an excellent balance of efficiency, durability, and quiet operation, making it a great choice for both enthusiasts and everyday users. Number two in my list is Thermal Right Peerless Assassin 120 Southeast CPU Cooler. 
Thermal Wright's peerless Assassin 120 Southeast lives up to its name, delivering the best performance from an air cooler that we've tested on Intel's Alder Lake at a price that undercuts the competition. In our tests, it performs so well when cooling our core i9-12900K that we retested it multiple times to be sure the results were correct. The Peerless Assassin 120 Southeast cooled the CPU when it was drawing over 200 watts better than our tested competition, and at lower thermal slash TDP settings, it performed much better than the competition. The cooler's two 120mm fans did their job of dissipating all that heat at low noise levels, making it just 34.5 decibels at max speed, and 33 decibels at 50% speed. It's also available in in silver slash gray, white or black, so it should fit in with most build themes if you care about matching aesthetics. Whether you care about value or not, you should consider this cooler for your next system build, so long as your case has room for it. Number one in my list is Thermalrite Phantom Spirit 120 EVO CPU Air Cooler. Not long ago, Thermalite released its first Phantom Spirit 120 air cooler, which blew us away in terms of its tested performance and price, earning it a rare perfect score. But then, mere months later, the company returned with the Phantom Spirit 120 EVO, sporting updated fans with a dash of RGB and even better performance. The fans are also louder at max speed, but our testing shows you don't need the fans spinning at 100% to achieve chart-topping performance with this cooler. The Phantom Sprit 120 EVO cooled 238 watts in our benchmarking, a result only bested in air coolers by even larger coolers with 140 mm fans, like ID Cooling's A770 and Thermalrite's own Frost Commander 140. Even better! All coolers set to run their fans at a quiet 38.2 dBA. The Phantom Spirit 120 EVO EVO was actually the best performing air cooler we've ever tested, beating out those larger, more expensive alternatives. Costly coolers from the likes of Noctua and Be Quiet have long dominated both benchmarks and enthusiasts' perceptions when it comes to top CPU cooling performance. But in recent months, Thermal Rights coolers have made those $100 plus coolers, and frankly, most other coolers, tough to recommend. The Phantom Spirit 120 EVO basically bests or matches the performance of coolers like Noctua's D15S, while costing not much more than a third of that cooler's price. Alright guys, this was our today's video. If you find this video helpful for you, then like the video, and if you come to our channel first time, then hit the subscribe button for our amazing upcoming videos. Be sure to the check out the links in the description for the updated price of all products discussed in this video. Hope you have a great day and see you soon in the next video.